All right, Kaz Bomb, you have a mission. You have a lot of guitar to work on for Just. It's going to kick your ass, but we're going to sound amazing. Um, and you're going to make a quantum leap forward. So we're going to learn it all in the key of A minor, their key, and then put it in B minor for your voice eventually. So you're going to kind of play a combination of chords and riffs. So your verses are going to be, your intro is just this now, and it's down, 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 down. Licks. Again, I'm gonna do it again. Can't get stink off. Eighth fret hanging around for days. Comes like a comet. Now it's eight to three. Suck at you, but not your friends. Blues riff. One day I'll get to you. There, your, your first finger is on the G string, just move it down one fret, E shape, ring finger, first finger flat, and middle finger B string. You two, and this is the easiest part, just C. So down, down, same strum from the beginning. Skip the second verse and the second chorus and just go right to the solo section. So the first thing you do is an octave. So that's, remember octaves is A string 7th fret, G string 9th fret, D strings muted. So on the way up, you're going to go 7, 9, 10, 12, 13 with a bend, 13, 12, 10, 8, not 9, 7, and then you have your thirds. It's like a repeat with a different ending here, second ending. D shape. To yourself. And then we skip the weird stuff and go right back to the chorus. And then eventually you're gonna have that blistering solo at the end that's gonna go like this. Pull off eight to five G string. You can use your pinky or your ring finger. Then same fret, bend the D string. I like to pull it down. So it's Four times, and then the first string, eighth fret, second string. So. Second ending. You take the seventh fret and very, very slowly bend it up. that part's too hard, we can adjust it. But those are all the parts I want you to cover. Part of that's in your old tab, part of that's in the sheet I handed you out today. Um, that's it, have fun.